government that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. We begin tonight with America at the threshold of a heartbreaking milestone. The Memorial Day holiday becoming especially poignant. Nearly 100,000 lives lost to the coronavirus. Fans of former NBA legend Kobe Bryant are still reeling today. Bryant was on his private helicopter with his 13-year-old daughter and seven others, including kids, parents, and a coach. They were going to his youth basketball academy in California when the now helicopter crashed. Now the historic crashed. fires devastating Australia. Some 130 fires they're burning right now, scorching more than 14 million acres of land. At least 25 people have been killed and more than 2,000 The death toll from flash floods and landslides in and around Indonesia's capital Jakarta has reached at least 21 as of this morning. In Turkey, where at least 22 people are now dead and more than 900 injured after an earthquake in the east. World of the War country. III is beginning to trend on social media, and the U.S. killing of Iran's general Qassem Soleimani has brought tensions in the Middle East well, to a new a level. It's a swarm of enormous proportions. Desert locusts are eating their way across large parts of East Africa, and it's the worst outbreak some countries there have seen in seven years. <laughs> Breaking news, Harvey Weinstein, once one of the most powerful men in Hollywood, in a Manhattan courtroom today to face sentencing on charges of rape and on criminal sexual act we in the first degree. We do have breaking news tonight, a deeply divided moment playing out in American history as we come on the air. President Trump has just been impeached on both Article 1, abuse of power, and on Article 2, obstruction Yellowstone of Congress. Yellowstone National Park could be sitting on a time bomb. There is